Now to an I-Team investigation for you at 5.30. A Middletown business owner says he was hit with a huge utility bill years after his newsstand closed down. Until the I-Team started investigating, he thought he would have to pay thousands that he says he didn't owe. Channel 3 chief investigative reporter Eric Parker has more now. It was a Middletown institution for decades. Central News was a Main Street gathering place as much as it was a business. We were uh, a newsstand and, and smoke shop. Uh, cigarettes, cigars, magazines, newspapers. But soon owner Bill Sabona, like many small businessmen, saw his revenues shrinking. Technology got us, you know, you could get newspapers online, you could get cigars online, you could do everything online. Facing that reality, he decided to close the doors. I notified my landlord, he was fine, he threw a sign in the window, um, and uh, within a couple of days he had somebody that was going to rent. You know, we didn't have many uh, utilities in there, gas, electric, and phone, and uh, we paid, you know, we paid our last bills and off we went. That was it. And you thought you were done? I did think I was done, yeah, until three years later. That's when this notice showed up at Sabona's home address. He thought all the debt from the newsstand was paid, but Eversource thought differently. They turned over his account to a collection agency, which said he owed more than four grand. I talked to Eversource, and they were, they thought, well, this is odd that, that it went three years, but we want our money. He says Eversource told him they kept sending bills to his Main Street address every month. The problem was, a couple months after he moved out, a new business opened up here. But no one from the pickle stand deli ever let Sabona know that he had been getting bills every month. The deli has since changed hands at least once since Sabona left, but the I-Team never reached the former owners. We did reach out to Eversource to find out what's going on. Unfortunately, we don't have any records of Mr. Sabona requesting to cancel his gas account with us. Eversource told the I-Team they never shut off gas service for non-payment because unlike his neighbors, the gas meter at the former newsstand is in the building and not easily accessed. That's what has Sabona angry. He agrees he may owe something, but the pickle stand opened a few months after he closed, so he knows he doesn't owe three years worth. I think we calculated five, six, seven hundred dollars, and you know, I'll pay you till the end of the year, and, and it might have been around seven hundred, I think. But you're not paying 42. I would like not to. Eversource did have records of repeated requests from Sabona and his representatives to reduce the bill. And after the I-Team called, they agreed to take one more look. This is a very unique situation and really a hard one for Mr. Sabona. So we were able to work with him and come up with a solution. Um, and we're happy we were able to come to a settlement. A representative for Sabona tells the I-Team they agreed to pay Eversource $500 to resolve it all once and for all. Eversource confirms they received that payment. Sabona is still unhappy that it took years and the I-Team getting involved to get to this resolution, but he's happy that Eversource ultimately agreed to cut a deal in what both sides agree is an unusual situation. With the I-Team, Eyewitness News.